third down, really, this period of practice that we were working on some pressure game that we had. And uh, this pressure, I'm proud of it because we ran it against Louisville earlier in the year and it was not as good as we wanted it to be. So what the design of it is, is we're trying to have the O-line get their sorts. We're trying to use the center on Rook in this case uh, to draw that block. And then we've got a little stunt with Hewitt. He's trying to occupy the guard as I believe that's Norrell, occupies the other guard. So we try to get the three inside guys locked on their blocks and then just get a little wrap stunt. It's a pretty simple stunt that it took a little bit of time for us to get done. In the Louisville week, you see with Rook here, he did not continue rushing the center. So that's what really broke that play down. And you see Hugh cross, and here we got the center to come back on Hugh. So as Hugh came back, the coaching point in this clip was for Rush to, Rook to continue rushing the center, which is what you see there. The route concept that we got up top is not identi uh, identical to what we had in the game, but we're playing just a three under three deep zone pressure coverage concept. So Chamari is the flat player, Divine is the hook player, and Dax is the flat player to the boundary. Post safety deep, corners playing the third. So you kind of see the route concept is going to be a little different than the game clip, but the game clip is awesome from the protection standpoint. We get exactly what we want. So you see the timing work out. We get Mario actually is the D tackle. We get Mario to work out, occupy the guard. Hewitt's occupying his guard. Rook is buying the center, continuing to rush on the center. So if the center passes it off, O-lines get this stunt a lot. Center passes it off. If Rook continues, he's got a good angle on the guard. So it all worked out. Like I said, we ran it against Louisville, and it wasn't as good. But this was a few weeks later. We had more time to work on it. And then here it is. This actually was called in this scenario where I was trying to get either Rook or Hugh a sack to end the game. This was one of the last two or three drives of the game. And the timing called it, and we felt like it was going to be good. So there it is showing up just like what we thought. There's the picture. Center takes Rook, Hewitt buys the guard, wraps around, and there's the access for the sack. Now, one of the key things about this pressure that I haven't talked about, doesn't get noticed a lot, is the ends have to do their jobs. The ends need to keep the pocket compressed. They compress it so the stunt has a chance to work and also keep the tackles from feeding back. You see a really good power rush by the left end, and then a nice job by Barno of giving the quarterback no escape hatch. There's the zone coverage concept. The one thing, if I'm splitting hairs here, I would want Tiz to have more depth. He is relating to the running back, but I'd like him to have the same depth as Chamari and DT. They're the other guys playing those zones now. We get home, get the sack. Hewitt can get up, feel good about it. I was hoping that a Hewitt sack and a Devon Diablo interception would be how we ended Lane Stadium for 2020. But this is a great job of guys executing what we asked them to do through the practice, the timing of it, the operation. And also we're bringing guys that the running back's not responsible for. So he thinks he can get out in his route and the running back actually helps us clean the A-gap up there. Sack, big play, let's go Hokies.